The red birds are awesome. The red birds are cool. We vlog at the pool. We vlog at the school. We vlog as a family. We vlog every day. And none of us are bored tonight. Oh, that's right. It's true. Motor and what's your price for life? Good morning. It's a Monday morning here in Charlotte, North Cagalac. What's up? Huh? Anyway, heading to work. Busy day ahead. It's a Monday. Normally busy. Um, boss won't be in today. Hopefully we'll make him proud with the work we get accomplished today. So... I think the girls are going to have some chores to do today with Miss Susan. So uh, hopefully we'll get to see some of that. Mommy's at work. Wendy's at work. Same person. Um, and we're headed. So I'm driving. Got to go. All right. Headed out of work. Going to grab some lunch. I've been hungry all day. Even though I've been eating. Oh, look at that cool car. <laughs> Champions, huh? My co worker got it. Yep, I gotta get it. His wings look too good not to get them. Okay, so our neighbor has a missing car and, and they think that they found it. So yeah, um, in the neighborhood, so yes. we're trying to go find it. In the neighborhood. Try it. Which way did you say it was? I think it's at this event street here. Okay, hopefully, we see like police. It'd be so cool. Oh my god. There's no police here. Emily, come over to Abigail's side and take a, take a picture of the back with the license okay. plate on it. Sorry guys, you have to. All right, it's quitting time, just about quitting time. We've been hearing thunder out here quite a bit. I guess we have some weather in the area. And I just realized when I was talking to you, I never shut my windows on my car. I guess I should do that. But uh, look at these clouds, they look ominous. There's definitely going to be lightning and thunder over there. Um, and that's the way of the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And they're having their penultimate round tonight for the um, summer shootout. I will be there tomorrow night for the final round. Look at the pretty blue sky. Pretty. We're going to go see if there's any more stuff there at the, um, the um, car stuff. So, yeah. Emily, don't even... There's cops! Mom, why can't we go down there? Because I don't want to go down with cops. So why? Oh, well, you can't see anymore. Look at that cool cloud up there. It's like uh, a big thing of smoke. No, it's not. It's just cloud. Looks like we had a little car issue on the highway. Good old 485. No, that's a nuclear power plant up there. Making some energy. There's three of them in, around Charlotte. Not around Charlotte, but uh, within 40 miles of Charlotte. 
All right, look at this. They found the car. The police is here. They're going to be um, doing the crime scene all over the the car, checking fingerprints. Uh, they're going to they're going to catch these people. I know it. I guarantee it. They're going to nab them. Good job by the cops. Good job by everybody finding this car. What a team. Well done. All right, so that's good. They found the car in the other end of the neighborhood. Um, the police are here. They're doing a test. They're checking everything. They got the CSI people there. Emma got fingerprinted because she's guilty. Emma, you're guilty. Whatever it is, you're guilty. This reminds me of uh, my Buffalo trip. Went to Buffalo, New York for a hockey tournament. I was a coach. I brought my players up there. My car got stolen overnight. I was only in the spot for four or five hours and somebody broke in, stole the car, stole the hockey equipment. Um, we had to go look, looking all over Buffalo for it. The cops found it, told us where it was. This was before cell phones. It was a nightmare trying to find it because they really didn't give us an address. It was parked behind uh, a business. They should have just gave us that business's address because we had to go buy maps. This is before we had cell phones or GPS, um, but cool deal. Glad. Glad those guys found their car. All right, pop quiz. Anybody know why I'm out here? Anybody? Besides enjoying this beautiful sunset solo? That's right, solo ride. Me and the sunset of Charlotte, North Carolina. It's freaking awesome, isn't it? This is awesome. It was even better a couple minutes ago, but I think you get the idea of it. All right, I'm only six miles in. Darkness is starting to wane. I have to go home. So let me get out of here. All right, so I just had some leftover Wendy's for dinner. Boy, it was yummy. Got to see what the girls are doing. No, Emily was explaining me when she was, there was like mean things about um, this book that they were calling people names in the book that Emily was reading. And there was like, and she was explaining Exampling like me in the story, so she was saying, I'm guilty, poop man, I'm guilty, we know. And then it came up to the B word, and then she said it again. You're the bomb, no, yeah, the B bomb. You're the bomb, Abigail's the bomb, yeah, no, you're the bomb, no, no, she said the B, you know, what I called? the Say bad the word. word, yes, <gasps> you, you only said the B word, you only said the B word. Oh, you no, said the B you word. You said Abigail was a B word. No, I didn't. Did you? I can prove yes. that. Yes. In the book. It says. She better not say that. That'd be mean. She's exampling me. But you know who's the bomb? What? Your mom. Your mom's the bomb. Your mom's the bomb. Your mom is the bomb. Abigail's full of lies. Your it's mom's the bomb. You are the only one who in the house who tells lies. Mm, yeah. That's not true. Yeah. That's a lie. So now you're a liar. <laughs> Abigail's a liar. I'm a liar. The only truthful person in the house is your mother. No. Right, Mom? Emily, ow! You can't poke someone's eye out. Ow, don't hit me. Ugh. She makes it all fun and games when you're in your underwear. You're gonna make the Are you ready for some more rye breads? Yeah, me too. Just click over here to check out our family's journey. We're a family of four here in Charlotte, North Carolina, just uh, providing some daily entertainment on YouTube. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.